Dave, hello. Today we're visiting you from Agua, Massachusetts. We're across the street from the Feeding Hills Congregational Church. This formed as a congregation in the year 1752. And this church is from 1835. So thus, they had a first edition of this church, probably in the same location. Probably, probably was here right from the beginning until 1835 and they decided to big build a bigger one. This is a pretty big congregational church for an 1835 church. Now, it's in the Greek Revival style. The steeple has slate on the very top. What a weather day up here. It's, it's with a church bell inside there, but it's non-functional because I saw an electric cord going up there that probably chimes electrical, electrical bells up there. Now, uh, to it, right side is a social hall in the very back all right and that looks like a bit of addition the one on the left is a lot smaller it's hard to tell though and to its uh, side is a sign that tells you a lot about the the church it's now called the united uh church of christ and it has the ears on there i just told you about now feeding hills is a village was in agawam so this would serve the village right from the beginning, and also be its meeting house, which means where the social events take place and the politics take place. Now, to its right side is the parsonage. That's where the minister would live, probably still does. And in, in that location, in 1848, they built that Greek revival structure. It's a nice complement to the church itself because the, the looks are very similar, the same style, same, uh, <clears throat> same uh, architectural style, the same look, same size, same size, and same colors. They all fit together very well. Now, in this neighborhood, you have other things. I'll point them out as we go around here. To right at the intersection, you have the First Baptist Church of Feeding Hills. It's now has a different name. It's called Assembly of God, I believe. And then about a quarter mile on the same side of the road going down there is the old Feeding Hills burial ground. And there you would have the burials of the people. Now it says this meeting house or church was made in the year 1752. That means that cemetery probably dates from 1752. That was a churchyard cemetery. All right. Now, Above that is the Hope Community Church. Now, beyond the Pride Station is the Helen Keller and Ann Sullivan Memorial Park. There's also a beautiful old school there. The park has a beautiful statue of those two together, and also a rock and a plaque. Now, on this street, you would have had all farms and all farmhouses and now it's changed into pretty much a bedroom community but i do spot one old uh, colonial home which is two houses up from here in the georgian style i believe as i look from here it could be it could be in the federal style but mostly i think it's in the colonial style okay so what we're going to do is give you a 360 panoramic without me And we're going to end off at the church. And when we get to the church, we're going to rise up the steeple so you can get a nice view on this beautiful August day. So thank you for visiting the stop. It's a functional church and it has events for people. So it's still very much open. And you should also visit inside most congregation churches. So it's very simple, but it's very beautiful here. Thank you.